six there ain't Shunting trucks and oiling freight Red and green and brown and blue They're the really useful crew All with different roles to play Around Tidmouth shed so far away Down the hills and round the bends Thomas sent his friends Little engines can't do big things Things were very busy on the island of Soto, so Tom and Pat was away on vacation, and all the engines were doing their best to be really useful. But Thomas did not feel useful at all. James teased Thomas for bumping into the bottles, called and scolded Thomas for being late. They made Thomas feel unimportant. Important is big, Golden told Thomas, and we are big engines. You are small, bossy sprockets, grumbled Thomas. I'll show them. Little engines can't do big things, Thomas thought, said to himself, especially when they have nice blue paint like me. But just then, Hale the helicopter flew by, making a cloud of blue dust. Thomas's nice blue paint got all dirty. Diesel saw Thomas and made fun of him. <laughs> I'm gonna start laughing now. And he did. Thomas was determined to prove that little engines could be really useful too. That night, Thomas was right on time doing his meal too. He even comfort Pussy who felt bad for being late. The next morning, Thomas saw Henry uh, looking glum. Good morning, Henry. Hey, Thomas, what's the matter? I've been trying to find Duck all morning, and I can't find him anywhere. Hmm, I'm about to head to the shunting yard soon. I think he might be there. I'll let you know if I find him. Okay. Nearly set to vote buffers, Thomas set to work collecting the coal cars. But the last car was not coupled properly. Thomas didn't notice the coal car sliding quietly backward. He didn't notice it mysteriously disappeared through the old buffers. It wasn't until later Thomas realized that the coal car was missing. I was up near the old buffers when the last cold call disappeared, Thomas told Pussy. Pussy got very excited. Maybe those are the buffers to the entrance of the Magic Railroad, he cried. The engines had heard of the legend of the Magic Railroad and all of the beautiful golden engine called Lady, who gave the railroad its magic power. Lady had disappeared a long time ago and the magic railroad disappeared with her. Pussy, you are clever, Thomas exclaimed and hurried away. Thomas steamed back to the old buffers. He knew that bringing Lady back would be really useful, but he was nervous too. What if I go on the magic railroad and my wheels don't work, thought Thomas. What if it's dark? But Thomas kept going. He reached the old buffers and passed right through. The magic railroad was dark and scary, but it was also so beautiful. Thomas found the missing coal car. With the car coupled properly, he continued along the magic railroad. Thomas passed through another set of buffers and into a world he had never seen before. This was the other end of the magic railroad and the home of Lady the Golden Engine. A man named Burnett Stone was trying to get Lady to steam up again. 
He tried every single call in the valley, but none of them worked. But then Thomas chuffed in. He saw and Thomas and maybe this special call from the island Soto can help get Lady to steam again. Thank you, Thomas. But I still got some the special call, put it in Lady's file box, and Lady was soon way to steam again. Lady had not won in many years, but with the help of special call from the island Soto, she was soon steaming again. As Lady moved along, her lovely, happy face was revealed once more. The whales became clear and the golden and beautiful shavings fell behind her. Gathering between the tracks, the magic whale was coming back to life. Thomas followed Lady back through the buffaloes with a wall. The two engines burst onto the island of Soto. Thomas and Lady both puffed into Maryland Station. Look! said James. Thomas brought back the magical engine Lady. Hooray for Thomas, the engines cheered. Lady was back and the magic wayward would once won again. You see, said Thomas, little engines can do big things. Thomas and his friends. 